Why do people wear suits? Well, I think at this point it mostly is about uh, a kind of uh, income class professional d distinction. The first thing people see about you is what you, is what you look like and they form opinions based on, based on that. I think people wear suits partly as it's a sort of mark of respect. A sense of modesty to cover themselves up, possibly. You don't need the imagination to wear suits, you just throw a few things together and it looks like you made the effort. Sometimes it's a power play. To impress ladies. <laughs> I guess it is just a way of expressing a sort of kind of formality and there is a sort of uniformness to it. I think suits are easy for men. It's become this, this thing that you have to do to fit in the working world. It's always been a dream of mine to go to Savile Row and to get like fitted for a man's suit, but for me as a woman. Suits me? Yeah. No. no. The last time I wore a suit was 1988 when I got married. I think that the divide will get bigger and bigger. The, the high end will continue to be handmade and intricate and the lower end will be more and more mass production. It seems to me that the use of suits continues to be, in a sense, a signifier of gentlemen, right? of, 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 of being of a certain social rank. Looking back in the past, not much changes in the way of suits, so the suit of the future is going to be still very much similar jacket, trousers, buttons down. Well, I think as men and women's fashion becomes less polarised, there'll be more variety in suits of colour and fabric. I based it on people trying to find different materials, but it has shorter legs because there might be a lack of materials to use for full length trousers. I think the suit of the future is going to be a little bit more jazzy than we currently have. I think there is a freedom now to explore like a little bit more flamboyance. It's really hard to tell whether it's going to go back to heritage or it's going to stay in like this mm, technological kind of feeling and uh, the fabrics are turning and changing from traditional wool to more technical fabrics so it's going to be looser and it's going to look and fit a bit more like sportswear. I think that the suits of the future are going to look basically the same, they're all going to be made out of the same material and they're going to be made out of a fabric that can withstand any weather and the only way you can tell people apart is people are going to be colour coded so the police will wear dark blue, doctors will wear light blue, firemen will wear red, everyone else will wear grey. It's half of a pig and half of an elephant and half of a fly and half of the duck and half of the horse. What's he wearing? Um, nothing. <laughs> My suit of the future is just a bit more involved, a bit more like patterned and kind of fun. I wish guys would wear different color suits or things with a little bit more visual interest to them. I guess my starting point is I really hate suits. So my drawing shows a suit, a standard suit being burnt. The hope for the revolution in my suit idea is that the person can kind of dictate what they want to look like. It feels like slowly and slowly everything's unified into like a mass product. So the idea was that you'll probably just have this one product and the only aim for individuality is to choose your color. Mm -hmm.